Shalom, here we go for another Zohar Minute. So we're going to talk about the text from Shemot in the verse 3 in the Zohar. The splendor of the fruit of the tree, meaning the tree of life, which are the souls that come from it, gives life to all. The other side, Sitra Acha. So what is the Sitra Acha? It's an Aramaic word that means the other side, the bad side, the darkness of sin. When Yeshua goes, for instance, to deliver the Gadarenian, he crosses over to the other side of the Kineret in order to go and set free the man. So the Zohar continues, the other side, Sitra Acha, of impurity, does not reside in it, has nothing in it, meaning that it doesn't have any hold on it, on the splendor, on the souls that remain in purity. Which means that the other side, Sitra Acha, is not nourished by the tree of life, which is also called Zeir Anpin. So what is Zeir Anpin? Zeir Anpin is another Aramic term that is like one of the components of the tree of life, and it is also called the sun. Only the side of holiness is nourished. This means that the darkness, the other side, doesn't have any hold on the Zeyron Pin, on the sun. Only the side of holiness is nourished. Blessed are those who taste it, for they live forever, as it is written in Genesis 3.22, and he shall take of the tree of life and shall eat and live forever. They are called those who have understanding and deserve life in this world and in the world to come. This is in reference to the verse in Daniel 12.3 that you have under your on the screen, those who have been intelligent will shine like the splendor of the sky, of the firmament. And those who have taught righteousness to the multitude will shine like the stars forever and ever. This is the text that Yeshua was, was referring to when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane when they came to, to, to take him. In John 14, 30, he said, I will hardly speak with you anymore. For the prince of the word, the other side, the sitra acha, the, of uncleanness, is coming, but he has nothing in me. He doesn't have any hold on me, on the tree of life, on the pin, on the sun. He is the tree of life that gives us eternal life. In Revelation 2, 7, we can read, He that an, uh, has an ear, let him hear what the spirits say to the kehilot, the, the assemblies. To him that overcome, I will give him to eat the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Those who are rooted in him partake to the tree of life in purity, and they are the splendor of the tree, meaning that they are the jewels that shine with his light. So you will find all those quotes in written if you want to have them, to uh, store them. And on the free course that the link is posted that ju just below. So click on it and register freely and you can have all the quotes of all the Zohar menu that we will post on regularly. So thank you for listening. We encourage you to come and, uh, and study with us uh, at the Yeshiva. You know, the Brit Hadashah, the New Testament, is really based on the ancient wisdom of biblical and Jewish ancient sources. So please come and uh, grab one of the course and just enjoy. Thank you very much and see you soon for the next Zohar Minute. Shalom.